Agrigold, we know corn. Hello, I'm John Breen with Agrigold Hybrids. Out in the field today talking about tillage. Tillage is a very critical part of our production system, mainly because it prepares the seed bed for next year. So what we're going to do today is we're going to look at several different tillage systems and we're going to see how is our tillage system working, do we have things set properly, is our tillage tool running and doing what we want it to do. So what we have here is an example of a deep shank chisel plow going through the ground. From the top of the ground as we're running looking from a tractor cab, it looks like we have done a great job. Busted the soil up, mixed the residue together, what we're striving to accomplish. But what I want to spend a little bit of time with is getting a shovel out, digging the soil, and seeing how our, our profile looks. So what I did here is I took my shovel and I dug away the loose soil. <clears throat> and if you look close, you can see where the shanks ran. One ran here, one ran here, another one ran here. The goal of a tillage tool, a deep tillage tool or primary tillage tool, is to shatter this entire profile uniformly. So if you see here we have a bump here, we have a ridge here, another ridge here, that tillage tool was not running deep enough in order to shatter the entire profile. So just by looking at the soil surface we think we've run this tillage tool maybe 12 or 14 inches, but when we measure it we've only run this tool about 8 inches deep. So with a tillage tool of that nature we need to run that considerably deeper in order to maintain that shatter. So no matter what your tillage tool is, the general rule of thumb is to make sure that you are half as deep as your tillage tool is wide. So if you're running on 30 inch centers, you need to be running that tillage tool a minimum of 15 inches in order to get this shatter throughout your entire profile. We have moved to a very popular option nowadays and that is vertical tillage. This pass here was made with a vertical tillage tool and the goal with these tools are to fluff the soil, to make a nice seed bed, to mix residue, but we have to keep in mind once again the purpose of tillage. The purpose of tillage is to prepare our seed bed for next year. So when we do a tillage pass, we want that tillage pass to be uniform. Just like our corn plants, we want them to be uniform. When we have on uniform in our tillage depth, on uniform in our soil profile, that means our planter is going to have on uniform environment to plant into. One's going to be shallow, one's going to be deep, and that's going to lead to some uneven emergence and uneven plants next year. So we are already setting the base for next year. So let's take our shovel in our hand and let's do a little digging down here and see how this tool did. So this, this tool went through, and as we can see right here, this tool left us ridges. Now if this is the only pass we make or another pass in the spring, our corn planter is going to have to maneuver these ridges, trying to get low spots, high spots, hard spots, soft spots, and that's going to lead to some ununiformity when it comes to planting depth, planting soils, and conditions for next year. So take a minute. Get off your tractor seat, do a little bit of digging and see how that tillage tool is doing so that you're not harming your yields for next year. So we're running our tillage tool. From a tractor cab it looks like we're digging deep, we're doing a lot of disturbing, things are going the way we want them to go. But the question I ask many growers is, how deep are you going? And I get the usual answer, oh I'm running 10, 12 inches. But are you really running as deep as you think? So I want to show you a quick easy way to measure how deep is your tillage tool really going. So just easily take your take a tile probe and a shovel or a stick, doesn't really matter. Take your tile probe, stick it down your slot wherever it is, whatever tool you're using, until you hit bottom. Now most of the time, growers will just take it out here and measure that distance and say they're running that deep. But that's not really how deep you're running. So go ahead and stick it back in your profile. Take your shovel or your stick, lay it on ground that has not been worked yet. And run it over to your, your marker. Put your finger underneath that point and raise it up. So this is how deep that tillage tool really is running. 
So we're running a good, probably a 12 to 14 inches deep, whereas maybe you thought you're running 18 to 20. So this is a real quick, easy way to determine how deep am I really running to follow that principle of half as deep as your tillage tool is wide.